What do you like? I like the Octonauts. Scott has gotten in the habit of putting on cartoons for Cadby, which is good. I, I, we do this for all the pet children, but he really likes the Octonauts. Yes. Yes, I do. I like the Octonauts. <laughs> it is a Sunday afternoon. We have gotten up. We've had brunch. I've cleaned up. Scott is working on the fish tanks. And I don't know what we're going to get into. I think we may work on some reviews for you all. Yeah, I've been watching Sword Art Online, which is awesome. We're going to do a review on that pretty soon. So it's it amazing. Obviously, you can tell our review is going to be super positive because we love it. Scott's already finished season one. I'm like... I'm, not, I'm past just starting, but I'm... Yeah, you're on like episode six or yeah. something. But I'm loving it so far. We went out and got the novel that they made the series from last night. We love it. And The Walking Dead's back. Woo! I'm super excited about that. I always hate when it's on hiatus. I love this, that series. So, I'm going to have to watch it when I get back from work. Yeah, and I'll try to be good and wait and watch it until when he gets back. I'll record it. <laughs> Don't let the camera on camera shy. Leave me alone. It is February 10th and I just received an email after class. Just got out of special ed so I checked my emails real fast and I got an email saying that one of the classes that I'll be going to tomorrow has been canceled. I can't do the observation. Luckily my second class I'll be going to tomorrow. Um, all the work's going to be done online so there's no point in going to a physical class at all tomorrow which is great for me tomorrow. I was already going to have to send an email out to my teachers and things saying that since the president of EKU has made it to where we cannot subject any negative effects of missing tomorrow because of the threat of um, student bodily harm that could possibly occur I was gonna opt out on classes tomorrow anyway since I didn't want to take the risk of getting myself killed or just hurt in general but it's been made in such a way that this has become a big enough concern where people are taking it seriously where I don't have any reason to go to school tomorrow at all anyway no negative effects of missing class tomorrow. It is perfectly understandable that you miss class tomorrow because they still haven't caught the person that made the threat about EKU students and bot and faculty suffering bodily harm. Everybody's on board finally on the day before. Yeah, they're going to take it seriously and they're canceling a bunch of things finally. The entire campus isn't closed, but they've made it to where if a student misses, they understand. And it's a pain in the butt. I'm still quite ticked off that something like this happened because that steals a day of education. I mean, that stalls a lot of things. And maybe that's the whole point. Maybe the person that made the threat wanted to create a day that stalled their schedule so they have a day to catch up. I don't know. Or maybe they're just seeking some sort of attention and need help. Quite honestly, there are anonymous phone numbers that you can call to get help. I don't know what the reasoning is and I doubt any of us will ever find out because they did it in such a way they can't get caught. If they just leave it alone, they won't get caught. That means that security at EKU is going to have to be risen. That means more security cameras. There's going to have to be a security camera in front of every restroom now. I mean, that's the only way you're going to fix this. And even then, it's not a guaranteed thing that you'll ever prevent this from happening again. If a person was really going to do something like this, they wouldn't give a warning. If they were really psychotic about killing somebody or mass amounts of people, they wouldn't give a warning. So you can't prevent that. It's just annoying. It really is. But to make on a lighter note, I finished Vampire Night, and I can honestly say that there are a significant amount of differences between Vampire Night and Twilight that make it two separate entities. Which you have to do. Even if the creator of Twilight pulled things from Vampire Night, which I still say if they did watch Vampire Night, they got inspiration at least from that anime in order to make Twilight. Because there are some similarities between the love triangles and the other love issues and the drama that's going on. There is a war that basically occurs and it's a long war. But you gotta remember, I've only seen Twilight movies 1 and 2, I've not seen the last one, and I've not read the Twilight books. The book could be greatly different than Vampire Night the anime series. 
And I've only seen seasons one and two in Vampire Night, and I don't know if there is a novel that goes along with it. I know there's a manga, so maybe one of these days I'll read that and see that there's even more of a grandeur difference between the two. But right now, I say this. If you have seen Twilight or read Twilight and you've seen Vampire Night, you can see the similarities and I can honestly say if the author, the creator of Twilight had seen Vampire Night, she gained inspiration. He or she gained inspiration from that series if they have seen it. I mean, it's not, there's no werewolves in Vampire Night, but there is a war between pure blood vampires and there's aristocrats and there are level E vampires that are more towards monsters. There is a significant difference. And one of these days here soon, we'll do a full out review and be able to go into in depth things about symbolism and everything that's put into there in Vampire Night. One of these days I'll probably do it with Twilight too with Critley. But until then, uh, you'll just have to wait, I guess. Now I'm gonna go back to the house. I'm gonna clean up some more and probably exercise, do something, and get ready for my second class today. And then I've got a meeting to go to over at the Educations Building that's all about KFETs. Basically, it's an online service that allows me to record my observation hours. Then I'll be going on to work later tonight.